Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Monday on this lovely 22nd of October. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. All right, good, good, good. Well, first of all, I'd like to start off and thank all the Cyber Traders and uh, students that came here over the week, uh, uh, last week. We had a great, great on site, and we also, um, hopefully, you didn't gain too much weight. We, I, I know a lot of you over ate. Uh, food was delicious, and the trading was also very, very awesome. We had a great, great Thursday. I know some of you guys had to catch up on a, a flight to catch up on Friday, so hopefully everyone was able to make their flights. Uh, so I'd like to thank you all for being here. It was a great event. And um, the only bad news that, that I think that everyone's going to take away from the on-site is that we didn't win the billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we all jumped into the lotto, everybody, and uh, it was fun. We, it was, it, I think we had a pretty fun conversation, and it's so funny. It was funny about the whole thing about lotto uh, that we all, um, when you're a trader, you know the odds are like, you know, even for the, like the, the $5, $10 we're going to invest in it, they're like, I know it's a great, you know, it's probably going to get a nice little dream there and a good conversation, but at the end of the day, I mean, uh, they say you have a better chance by being drafted number one in the NBA, so... Uh, one in 300 million odds. I know, but it was fun anyway. But hey, like they say, Lotto says, you never know. We always like our chances better here. But uh, overall, we had a great, great class. And, uh, and for all of you that want to come and join us next time, we are going to be changing the dates. And we're going to do it more midweek than more the weekend. Uh, we'll probably do a Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday uh, soiree on a Tuesday maybe. So everybody could kind of enjoy a midweek and, you know, be able to catch those flights. And if you want to stay, stay longer. But it was great. I'm driving uh, to Buffalo this week to buy some. <laughs> well, Andre, Andre, you know when you drive to Buffalo, there's nothing better than you know stopping really quick at the local post office and say, sending some more cookies. Maybe you could send some of the uh, send me some of your yeast. But overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to uh, do some shopping and see what's going on. Listen, it's it's a typical Monday, and with Mondays, we all know it's the weekend. I don't know where you guys are, but it got awfully cold. Uh, here, but uh, in New York, but uh, it, it's it's a typical Monday. There was there's a lot of stocks that gapped up. I mean, there's a lot of them I found this morning, and you could see here in the big percentage gainers. But unfortunately, a lot of them kind of flat. It looks like a lot of the, um, a lot of the, uh, which we call it, uh, the uh, shipping companies are all moving this morning. But I don't know what's what's the news on all these shipping companies, other than that they're kind of flat. But there are a couple of them moving. There are a couple of good stocks. I think we're going to have to wait until the market opens up around, around 935. We might find a bunch of new stocks. Listen, we, we've been through this before. But a typical Monday, you want to be very, very careful. But anyway, I got one up there right now. The CLGN right here. You can see the stock has done absolutely zero here on the long-term chart. But she's gapped up about 54%. So anyway, nice, interesting stock. But she's on a downtrend. She's got support levels right around $8. She gapped up pretty big around 7.45. Uh, obviously, news must have came out. Something drove it up pretty big. But overall, I'm not completely sold on it. We'll see how she opens up. Tops also another one just gapped up huge. Look at this right out of the gate at 6.15 in, in the morning a.m. went all the way to four dollars, right back down to a dollar sixty. So I don't know what the hell that's all about. Anyway, she's still up 34%. So it looks like a lot of these shipping stocks are moving. Here's another one that's in the shipping industry. S-I-N-O, uh, another global shipping company. Another one's gapped up about 15%. But they're all backing off, so I don't know. It's just that they actually all kind of showed up uh, on my radar. Here's another one, the DCIX, up 12%, 700,000 shares. Gapped up to about 240, right back down to a buck fifty. So uh, Benito made already about $0.10 cents on, the, um, on the tops. All right, that's pretty good, Benito. I mean... Like I said, not it's not a huge winner, but you know, money's money. I always say. A couple of the other ones that showed up on the radar: N A uh, N D R X. Here's one. Oops, did I spell it right? S L S. This one, you know, she hit. She she backed off a little bit right here. I mean, the stock took a huge hit uh, back in July, and just gap down, broke lower, gap down, broke lower. But she's been she's been peaking up little by little. This one, I, we remember, we traded a little bit. Um, very cheap little stock, up 33%. Looks like it's testing some resistance levels right above that $2 a couple of days ago. So it looks pretty decent. I mean, this one's not bad. Plus, it does look like 
building a little bit of a Fausto flag. AYTU is another one that I found in, this morning. Took a big, big hit from $80 all the way down to $1.20. Oh, look at that. Less than, what, a month? It went from like 80 bucks all the way to 10 uh, you know, a lot. listen, I always say all the time, you want to discriminate against inexpensive stocks? What happens these expensive stocks end up being at a dollar. The difference between a $5 stock and an $80 stock is a $5 stock can only go down more, go only $5, five points less. An $80 stock can still go down 80 more points. And if you don't believe me, here's, your, here, here's a good uh, witness of it. So uh, that looks pretty good. What else? Anything else moving? You got uh, Ben says watching uh, tops at a buck eighty five. Yeah, I mean she's building some support levels right there. But guys, remember about trading. Just be careful with these with these uh, with these shipping stocks. We traded them. We killed it. We killed it. A lot of you remember. I mean these shipping stocks with all the splits and everything. I think all of them are in, in the ten thousand dollar ranges. You know, so a lot of them got destroyed. But overall, you know, if if they're all going to be working and, and be fun today. Then we'll trade it, but um, just be careful because go back to your journals. We trade these so many times, and they do get quite volatile. Anything I'm missing? I did not call out N E T E from Craig. Yeah, that one looks really good. I like that one. I'm gonna throw that one on a watch list. Good call, Tom. That's a nice, nice pop right there. Five dollars to eleven fifty. Uh, looks like it's probably going the way to here. It just popped. That was a great call. N E T E. Hopefully you got it and doing well on that one. Kathy's up uh, 30 cents on tops. All right. Give her a round of applause. Beautiful. All right, so we got our list. I'm not completely sold on everything, but um, it looks pretty decent. You know, like I said, we always get new ones that come out and uh, we'll open up. So it's always a Monday. In the meantime, I know we have a lot of new members that start on a Monday. So hopefully you guys are going to just sit back and relax and enjoy. Make sure you talk to Education uh, Advisor so he can tell you a little bit more about, the, about what you're about to learn and what you're about to experience and what you need to watch. Because remember, it's not everybody could do this, you know, but you should. <laughs> So uh, there's one way to find out. Let's see if everybody else makes money and see if you like it. In the meantime, guys, see something, say something. All right, good luck, everyone. Happy trading. See you back at 2.30.